Hi everybody, welcome back to Playa del Carmen and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited you're here and I owe you all a, an apology because I kept saying I'll be putting out a video here pretty quick, pretty quick and um, it just gets busy and all kinds of, I have all kinds of excuses but none really work. So anyway, cheers today. First I will cheers you because I'm so grateful you're here and I want to drink my wine. It is, I'm going to reach forward here. Sauvignon Blanc from the Andaraga, and it is from Chile, and it's really nice. Yes, we finished this, it's been in the fridge for a few days, um, so I'm having the last glass. And we have a, a ton to do, and I'm afraid my battery's going to die. If it does one of those things and it poops out, forgive me, I'll somehow munch it together, you know, the thing. I don't even know how to do that. Where am I going to set my wine? I'm going to end up having to hold it. Okay. Something really, really quickly, a nail polish. I don't even have um, fingernails at this moment. When I'm in Mexico, I take nails off, um, file them really short. I found a polish. Tell me if you've ever heard of this. Kim Taylor. Anybody familiar with this? I even went online. You can try Googling it. I couldn't find it like anywhere. I think one blogger had Kim Taylor polishes, and that's all I've ever seen. I got it here at Walmart. I think it's Walmart. Walmart. There's a Mega and a Walmart up in Playa where if you need to buy supplies and things like that, it's a better place to go. It's kind of like, you know, just going to Walmart. Anyway, um, Kim Taylor. I've got white on my toes, which I don't even possibly know how to show you. I have a skirt on. I'm not hiking my leg up here, but trust me, I put three coats on to get it real good and opaque, and I'm loving it. This stuff stays on, and this little, um, this one's called light skin and I've been wearing this on my nails pretty much consistently like I said I cut them all off they're super short I try to let them breathe and be healthy here but fantastic fantastic polish I love it Kim Taylor um, see if you can find it somewhere let me know where you can get it other than Walmart I don't know um, so everybody saw the little I said it's just a tiny little mac haul um, the first uh, lipstick I bought when I first got here remember was the twig did I buy that here what if I twig here or in Minnesota? Well, anyway, I've got three lipsticks, and there are lipsticks that everybody else already has but me because I'm always late in the game. So my first one was twig. I have that on as a base. Um, no liner today. So twig, I love it. It's kind of a, a brownie. I almost want to say it's a nude, but it's a little darker than a nude. It looks darker here than it does on your lips. Um, and then I bought, what what, Cre um, cream cup, which everybody has cream cup. And let me, I'm going to tell you something in a second here. Cream cup, and then I got um, Love Lorne. Oh my gosh, it's really, really pretty, especially with the tan. It's just a beautiful pink. So what I've done, uh, and what you're going to find, one of the reasons I'm really hesitant, and I'm sweating friggin' bullets here, and my hair's going to turn curly in about five seconds, and then that'll be the end of that. Um, I'm afraid to do a tutorial for you on how I do my makeup and my looks because I'm a mixologist and I don't do anything like, and here's what I used on my eyes. It's never that simple. I would have to learn how to really get a step-by-step -step thing going and it's not in my nature to do so and I don't know that I'm willing to change enough to do it. So if you ever wanted to watch me do makeup, um, you have to pour a whole bottle of wine, sit down, relax, and then uh, try to make your own notes because it gets crazy. So what I did today was I started with my twig and then I put uh, Lovelorn a little bit over the top of that. So I took like this brownie and then I took a pink and then right in the center I put this um, cream cup. And guess what? I think it looks really, really pretty. And so how most people wouldn't wear three lipsticks, I guess. Oh. Maybe a lipstick and a gloss and a liner, but not me. So anyway, there, there's that. And then I got a eye coal crayon um, MAC, and it's Blues, B-L-O-O-Z. And I have green, blue eyes, mostly greenish on the gray side. Um, and you know, when you line with a blue, how pretty this will this blues color is, let me see if I can, 
it's like a grayish purpley blue and I don't know how well you can see that. I get right up in your biz. Maybe I go there. I'm see I'm looking at that. Whatever. This I tight lined uh tight lined it, waterline on the bottom, tight line on the top. And it just makes your eyes pop a little more than if you were just to use a gray or a black. It gives you that little bit a little bit of something something. I bought a blush and the blush I got is Pinch Me. Let's see. I, I suppose I could have swatched those lipsticks, but I know you already all know what those are. So here is um, Pinch Me. And what I did with that was I do have a little tiny bit of contour, a little bit of bronze contour, and I put the pinch, it is Pinch Me, right? Pinch Me sort of on the back sides of the cheeks. And then I did put a little bit of pink in front. I find for me, if I don't put a little pink on my face, I'm a very neutral. I've, it's been hard to find if I'm warm or cool. And it just come to find out, I think I'm more on the neutral so I can go on either side, but I do need a little pink to brighten it up. Otherwise I can look too washed out. So same with blushes, I end up with more than one blush on my face. That's kind of just the way it goes. And then I got an eyeshadow. I'm sweating. Here. I may just do my MAC and be done and then I'll, I've got clothes, I've got jewelry, I've got some sunglasses. Maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek of what's coming next. Had a little bit of fun here. Have <gasps> you picked them out and they're absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Okay, so wood winked. Everybody's already got it. Um, I don't even know. Let's see if we can swatch it. I have a little bit of this on my eyes today, over the top of whatever I was wearing, just because I thought I better put it on. Can you see it? Here, it's on the bottom. What a beautiful color. I don't even know how to describe this color. It's, um, I'll tell you what, get a tan and you would only ever need a woodwing over your whole lid, you could wear that, with a little bit of coal liner or something, all oh, really, really pretty. Smudge it out. Um, this, I think, would just blend out a look. If you put on a look that you weren't quite satisfied with, you could take a little of this on a brush, uh, just put it all over and just diffuse everything with this color. That's my opinion. And I think it counts for a little something. So now I'm sweating and I feel like I need to end this. We're, my sister came, so I'm really excited to get back to her. She's the one who brought the camera. So this is kind of our first test to see how it's gonna work with the camera. But I have got um, some things from Studio F. I showed you the Dolce & Gabbana. We did my Mac. I've got some clothes. Went to, ooh, ooh, ooh. I have, kind of get it out the thing. There's another place called The Loft. Not the same, not Ann Taylor Loft, but a loft. Fun clothes. So maybe what I'll do, I think I'll have my sister Karen, and you're gonna meet her, whether on or off camera, you're gonna hear her voice at some point. She'll do an interview type situation with me, kind of a get to know me, and she'll ask me questions. Um, but she's here, I'm excited to get back to her. I know I just talked all over the place, but I wanted to say hi, I wanted to show you what was in my little map haul, stuff everybody already knows, but I'm catching up with y'all. One of the things you're gonna find out about me is I'm not a makeup junkie. I would prefer to buy things that I really, really love. The cost for me isn't as much as the issue as if I love it, I will buy it. I'm more quality over quantity, and so that's how I roll and that's how this is going to be. Um, but these few things were, I heard, who did I hear? Can't say, don't know, feel bad if I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I wanted to say thank you for everybody for subscribing. I'm, I appreciate it so much, it's been so fun. I'm a little flustered right now. Let me get back in the swing of it. But no, I love you and I appreciate you. Um, I'm so grateful that you're here. and. You know what, just keep being patient because I think it's going to get better all the time. It's For me, this is like starting all over again. So it's like uh, YouTube, uh, first video all over again. Love you and we'll talk soon. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.